Good morning, everybody. This is Giovanni from Spy Options Trading. Today's November 7th, 2018, Wednesday. And I'm just now getting to my computer from dropping off my son at school. Let's check Forex Factory. 10.30 Eastern Time. We have crude oil inventories. That's going to be medium impact expected. And then at 1 o'clock, we have the 30-year uh, bond auction. I haven't placed a trade at all since last Friday. Here's my account again. Uh, 548.98. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Last 14 days. My last trade was, here you go, November 2nd, which again was Friday. So, haven't traded, haven't traded at all. Netflix looks decent here. Let's check Netflix. 317.50 calls that expire in two days are trading at 585. They're too expensive anyways for me to trade. Boy, if I had enough money, I think I would I would uh, trade uh, Netflix. Netflix, uh, that setup looks... Uh, Pretty gosh darn good. And consolidate here, and then probably in the start of the next next bar, I think we'll see a nice pop. Five eighty five is on the bid. Six dollars even is on the ask. Six twenty is on the ask. Look at that, guys. That's six forty three. Somewhere around there would be the target. Ten percent. Six twenty five is on the ask. Six forty. Six forty five is on the ass, guys. That was the play right there. Didn't have enough money to play the play. Good setup there. Six fifty on the ask. Boy, that's that's amazing. I don't know, there's something to be said about this setup here that I'm seeing. What's going on everybody? This is Giovanni from Spy Options Trading. I missed another trade today, but not necessarily because of fear, but because I didn't have enough in my trading account to actually trade it. Before I get into uh, all the awesome things that I want to talk to you about, let's announce the winners of the drawing. The winners are everybody that entered. That's right, everybody that entered. I was only going to pick three, but guess what? I only had five people entered. That's right. Only five people entered the uh, drawing. Hey, that's fine. No big deal. It was a lot of fun for, for everybody involved. No big deal. But everybody that entered won, guys. I already went ahead and contacted everybody. We're going to set up dates, uh, times, so they can get my signals and we can talk trading and stocks and, and money making and all that cool stuff. So congratulations, everybody that entered the drawing and won. Second, I want to talk to you about today's uh, trade that I saw on Netflix, I got I got curious because I noticed that SPY just wasn't uh, trading, uh, that I wasn't going to get a good trade off of SPY, and it wasn't until later in the day, and I'm sure everybody that's actually watching uh, this video noticed that ginormous move on SPY. I missed it because I went ahead and cut uh, the v video short. I had something that I had to get off my chest and record. Netflix. I never look at Netflix. But I got curious and just started looking at um, Netflix and Tesla and some other you know stocks that you can actually trade options on. I noticed that that setup on Netflix, it was plain as day. It was flashing, hey, trade me, trade me, trade me. Before I tell you exactly what is on my mind, I want to ask, what type of trader are you? What type of trader are you? For me, myself, I am the type of trader that I want to see a significant move in one general direction, up or down, doesn't matter. And I want to get in on that move. This possesses a, a, an issue. The issue is that I don't know whether I'm getting in at the top where it's going to stop trading, stop trending in that direction, stop moving in that direction, and then fall apart. So there's been several times, and you can see all these videos in my channel, there's been several times where I get in, and I'm literally getting in at the top before it actually starts uh, reversing on me. The dip buyers, the dip buyers are that, you know, it moves in that direction and then consolidates, or it could possibly um, move down the dip, and they get in on that dip before it actually starts moving back up. That possesses another problem for the dip buyers. You don't know whether it's actually gonna continue in that general direction, or you're literally buying when it's literally reversing on you. 
So it's kind of pick your poison kind of thing, kind of situation. I noticed a particular pattern and I'm going to go back and actually uh, review and do a lot of back testing. Um, but that pattern, you can see it, you can, you know, I don't want to necessarily give it away right now. Um, I want to do some back testing before I get into that and actually start letting you guys know what kind of pattern it is. But you can look back at, at, at most of my trades and actually tell what that pattern is. It's pretty distinct. So I'm going to work on that guys. I'm going to work on it, work on it, work on it. Work, 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 work. And then uh, report back to you. Thank you everybody for your support i have 400 subscribers i hope i at least have 400 subscribers by the time that you're viewing this uh, video but i did get to 400 subscribers that means the world to me um just trying to get you know 100 people to watch my videos that's that's a task in itself i have 400 subscribers that are somewhat interested in what i have to say in my trading techniques uh, my trading style um i greatly appreciate the interaction uh what your what your thoughts are um you know what you're doing right what you're doing wrong i'm here to help you maybe you can help me as well um and maybe here here's a question for everybody here's a question for everybody sure my my Generally, and that's all I've been trading solidly pretty much for um, years is just spy options. Occasionally, I'll, I'll put in an, a, an Apple trade, maybe occasionally a Facebook trade. Uh, but again, I haven't done that uh, many, many times at all. Comment down below whether I should change the channel name into something like, you know, options trading or the, the options trading channel or the stock market trading channel. But whatever the case may be. Uh, the reason why I say that is if there's opportunity, if the pattern presents itself on other stocks, I want to trade it. I don't want to just be stuck on SPY. Uh, and even though that um, you can make a lot of money, you can actually make a living uh, trading off of just SPY options. But sometimes SPY doesn't move. And then like today, like um, there's a perfect setup on Netflix. Why not look at, at Netflix? Uh, I shouldn't lim my, limit myself on just trading spy because there's other opportunities elsewhere if the uh, pattern shows up so i don't know maybe there's a couple changes to come on the channel i'm not sure comment down below what your thoughts are on the channel name should i change it should i keep it there what are your thoughts comment down below thank you everybody for supporting the channel i greatly appreciate it i hope that uh, you're learning from me as much as i'm learning from you guys um, i get a bunch of emails throughout the day and i try to get to everybody as soon as possible it, that doesn't happen all the time where i can get to you asap but i will eventually get to you guys so i'm learning quite a bit that's been awesome that's the whole point of this channel is to learn Thank you everybody for watching. Hit that subscribe button, like and share my videos. Tell me what you thought about this video. Talk to you tomorrow. Bonus footage guys. As I was editing my video, I noticed that Patrick Wheland, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing his last name correctly. I saw his video where he lost uh, on a trade today on MTSL. Out of curiosity, I pulled up MTSL here. Um, and that pattern presented itself here too. So what does this mean? I don't know what this means. Does it mean that I'm going to be trading penny stocks or stocks that are, you know, under trading under $5? No, but I just felt like sharing this bit of information for you. Look at this beautiful, beautiful trade right here. I don't know what this means, guys. Let's, let's, uh, keep looking into this. Thank you so much, everybody.